Hey there guys, so what you're seeing here is um, the Windows 10 technical preview evaluation copy as you see right here in the bottom right corner. Now I've installed this as a base operating system on my computer so I can test it quite a little bit and as far as you can see I have managed to make it work what I'm really sad to see is how they fucked up the, the computer icon because it sucks but uh, all, all in all as a Windows it's quite stable and yet this is not official release any yeah not official release basically this is it it's a preview version it's built not to work perfectly and it still has some bugs that need to be taken care of but I can guarantee you that it's one uh, top dog and uh, here you can see I installed uh, from Windows Store uh, my despicable minions game so basically you can resize those make it small make it large make it medium and you can put it anywhere, anywhere uh, you want yeah well okay this is not good uh, now what I really wanted to show you in this video is about that people do know that you have a 30 day trial period which is never enough well there is a way that you can do uh, quite a lot of times actually and the way is you click the start menu and you write CMD then you click uh, when you find uh, the CMD the command prompt right click on it run as administrator and here you will have to enter the command SLMGR and like this rearm so basically this is what you have to, to write and then you click enter now that will take only a few short uh, instance now since I already did that and it asked me to restart my computer and I haven't yet restarted it basically I already told the system that I want to rearm my 30 days so the SLMGR is really what holds all of that that information and once rearmed it will re reset uh, to 30 days left so basically when you have one day left or a few hours left of uh, uh, evaluation period then you just do that trick and you have 30 more days um, right button on the start menu run uh, you can I'm gonna show you what SLMGR really is it's a uh, It's a configuration settings basically. Let's look at it in Notepad. See, there is install product key IPK. I really have no idea what the fuck that it means. Open oh, install product key usage, install product key, replace existing key, uh, and so on and so on and so on. So basically, it's all about case activation period and etc 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 so since I have no idea what any of this does it says here valid to to date from date to date well that's because it's variable date it, it's changeable that, that's why it's not preset 
otherwise if someone installs this this windows in a later time then the date specified it'll it'll not go on however let me check a little bit yeah Gra great now let's move on let's say you already reactivated you you're about to do it like a hundred times more or whatever I really don't know how many times you can do it and if, is there, if there is any limit I'll uh, make another video if uh, I know anything more about it for now we still have a problem the problem is this little tucked up sign here that says Windows 10 technical preview evaluation copy built uh, 9841 well that's a little program here it's called my w WCP watermark editor so you open this little software it's made by by a French guy or so I so I assume because he's, his website was French because now it's removed there is no website anymore now you just once you're here just click remove all watermark and apply new settings it's quite possible it's quite possible that your uh, my YCP watermark editor can freeze at some point that you can expect well what you do in that that point is very simple press control alt and delete open task manager wait for it to load consider that the system needs to reboot but what actually is doing is only closing the Explorer EXE now if we reboot only the Explorer EXE on theory it should uh, eliminate the signs well as it seems second Ah, okay task manager is open now so now you go to file run new task and you write here explorer dot exe then you go create task with administrative privileges yes it's better if it's administrative so you make your windows an administrator for a time using it and click OK. Now all everything should load again, desktop, etc. etc. Everything should be in fine order. And then uh, you can close uh, my WCP crap because you don't need it anymore. As I, as I suppose so it froze again because I already tested it before and it always freezes here now maybe it's because of this version of Windows or whatever but at least one thing is for sure it works it fucking works so that's all that matters to me that being said I don't know if you have noticed but I don't have the 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 watermark here it says practically nothing it's like an original windows then com PC properties you see there is it just says Windows edition it should have said here it should have said what kind of edition is it evaluation blah 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 product ID not available well that being said it's quite normal 
and Windows is not activated. You can try to activate it if any uh, codes become available in further on, but for now nothing is available. The only thing I, I managed to make available for you is this little guide. This little guide how to make it more more your system and then you have uh, the possibility to add things like I did as you see this is the Captain America the first Avenger theme and it's quite awesome uh, images change frequently not sure in what time exactly because I don't keep track of that kind of crap and you can see right here between my uh, near my clock it says hacked that I can look I can teach you very fast how to do I do that very simple I click on the clock left mouse button then you go to change date and time settings you can do it in any windows any any windows then you go to change date and time change calendar settings personally I, I already tested it in um, uh, in, in Windows 7, in Windows Vista which no one uses but just in case so basically it's a tested method that works that, that works with any Windows so feel free to, uh, to, to enjoy so as you see you need to add these both T, T, T here above leave a little space after the, the minutes and here after the seconds leave a little space and add T, T same goes for down here and up here then you can add like like I did or actually just start with the text and uh, uh, let's say owned owned and 21206 uh, 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 owned so basically this is how you make this is how you make uh, well actually this is where PM should be but I've used that that uh, the changing trick and AM and PM do not exist anymore it's it's really that simple well, I hope any of this helped you because it helped me. And one more thing, because the the evaluation windows is don't have nothing on them basically, I suggest you start adding other everything. Start with uh, Microsoft Essentials that will give you the Windows Media Player. Uh, sorry, Windows Movie Maker. Here it is then uh, you can uh, uh, it, it'll give you also uh, uh, the photo gallery and the writer I'm not sure if I have uh, if I have installed it because I really don't need it but yeah it, it is as an option but then then again you're you're the one to choose what you want to do and um, and you can start uh, checking for the updates that's very simple way go to control panel and drag uh, to windows update which it's is extremely similar to the one of windows 7 so basically check for updates and that's it if there is no updates then try to install a little basic uh, microsoft software like uh, the uh, uh, Visual C++ uh, re redistributable and uh, DirectX um, uh, DirectX and uh, some uh, some other kind of uh, 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 some some other kind of software like Microsoft and and, and, uh, and stuff that no normally are very essential for Windows. From then on, from that point on. Windows will search for updates for that software and help you out with it. You can also use what I really use, which is File Hippo App Manager. That 
that's uh, app manager through filehippo.com and it's basically used to scan what software you have on your computer virus free and malware free also spyware free it's it's a very nice program and that basically scans your computer for what you installed and tells you what updates you can make it, te it tells you what you can do and what you can do let's take take a look at what it says for me should be having little little stuff that I really yeah flash player uh, better version well thanks but no thanks and that's a non -E, non -E, uh, internet explorer version shockwave player yeah that I can uh, that I can take and basically this is it it recognizes the system is Windows 8 64 bit that's because this Windows is is based on Windows 8 and even though it's a Windows 10 it it still has the basic uh, the basic systems of Windows 8 and that, that basically cuts it so I hope you enjoyed this video Pre please subscribe and uh, peace guys